Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you some news from MS and at the same time, I want to talk about their leather goods division, what exactly happened for the past couple months. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Two months ago, February 18, AMA released their financial statement for the physical year 2021. Overall, the fashion house did a great job and they gained about 9 billion euro dollars for the profit. However, the leather good division was not very successful and a little bit disappointed. Sales in the leather good section fell by 5.4% in the fourth quarter while the analysts expect a decrease of 2.3%. As we know, leather goods is the main source of Hermes. The half of the company's revenue comes from the leather goods. To be sure, in 2021, when the luxury brand generally rebounds strongly, the Hermes strategy and the policy will disappoint some investors and they are not achieving so strong ending like LVMH. On the February 18, the Hermes International share fell the most in the five year. The stock was dropped as much as 8.4% has lost more than a quarter of its value since setting the record later last year. So what is the main reason of this poor performance? The main reason for this poor performance of course is the shortage of the classic bag such as the Bergen Kelly Constant. At the beginning of the 2022, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Dior all had a price increase as well as the Erma. Erma also had a price increase. However, this price increase doesn't benefits financial performance. It's not because people lost the interest of their handbag is because production capacity is very tight and the supply exceed the demand. The limited production capacity also make Erma performance grow rate in the key holiday season less than other fashion houses such as LVMH. Louis Vuitton or Dior's. According to their MS CEO said on the conference call, he said, we are facing high demands. MS leather bag usually take 15 hours. The production capacity is always limited. There's no way to reduce the production time to 13 hours to increase the production. Those are the things that explain why we are so difficult to get the quarterback because the production capacity limitation and the press each bag needed to spend hours and hours to make it. So it's a manual work, it slowed down the production. Plus recent years, the more and more people shift from the Chanel or Louis Vuitton to the Hermes. So the waiting list is even longer. So you can imagine how difficult to get your favorite dream bag. Here I also want to give you some additional information. The company recruits 400 new workers per year in recent years, which seems to be a lot. But considering the needs of a lot of the training increase in production capacity is not so much. It is reported that Hermes Leather Goods Department has more than 90 craftsmen trainers who will training apprentices for more than a year, including the skill training and the guidance on prepare taking the CAP training exam. So the last year, they opened the Leather Processing Training Center. This is the company first training center recognized by French National Institution of the Education who will extend to all leather processing workshops of the group in France in the future. The good point of the menu operation is it is less affected by raising the energies and the price of the major raw material. In order to increase the output of the leather products by 6 to 7 percent a year, year new three star workshop it will establish in the 2024 now right before when i was preparing this video i also read their published document that they mentioned that they also will add two more sites on 2025 and 2000 
26. So it will be have a total of five new size uh, workshop for Irma in the future years. So hopefully this will help them to boost the production capacity and uh, hopefully for us it will be easier to get our dreaming back. Very interesting point I also want to mention it and some of the analysts point out that whether a man admit or not the decline of the leather goods business is related to the brand's excessive reliance on those classic pieces. Under the theory of the strategy measures such as shadow marketing, high pricing, positioning, limited supply, and permanent monopoly, the high threshold set by Hermes for the classic pieces make handbag irreplaceable in the heart of the target consumer. According to the supply and the demand theory, the circulation value of the classic bag in the market has continued to be increased. Under the design for the classic bag, consumers will be willing to buy other Hermes products in order to get their favorite handbags, thus driving improvements of overall performance. But this is also a risk for Hermes that once the shortage of the supply reach to the critical point, consumers' demand for Hermes classic bag will shift rapidly, and the attention to other products will decline, which will have a big impact on their sales performance. That's also the reason to explain that Hermes tried to adding more new product such as a beauty product or fitness product or watch like they collaboration with the apple come out the apple watch so try to distract the people from the classic piece to other category so those are the information i want to share with you and i'm thinking i will update you guys from time to time how the company doing on sales performance and any news regarding to their leather goods development and improvement so so far as we can see the armad they're not gonna change the policy also they want to control the sale uh, increase only six to seven percent per year but according to the news originally they was uh, planning to increase the production seven to eight percent now they saying uh, they are trying to increase uh, six to seven percent which is lower than the previous that's the thing you need to keep in mind it may be still very difficult to get it for this year hopefully after the 2024 uh, when they are adding more production size and can produce more handbags so that time will become easier to get your dream bag i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video thanks bye